What's up, y'all? It's your favorite host, Avery OBTV, here with Tori Butler. man of many talents. You're an actor. You're an author. You just created an app, Scribble. Tell me, are you feeling accomplished yet? What are you thinking? What's going on? It's it's definitely a great accomplishment, but, you know, it's always more to do. So I definitely take those accolades and everything that's going on to heart, but I got a lot of more work to do. Okay, I like it. Humble, humble. I love it. And so let's talk about your new book. Where do I go from here? And so the name alone is super powerful because I believe so many people are trying to figure out what's their next move. Where do you know, where do I go after this next step? And so tell me what type of headspace were you in where you, when you were creating this book and what do you want people to take away from your book? When I first started a book, I didn't have a title. So it's funny when I was writing a book, I didn't come up with the title until the end. Oh, okay. So the, the headspace I was in, I was in a very uh, deep place in life mindset wise i was trying to figure out what i wanted to do with my personal life as well as inspiring others so a lot of things happened during that time and during my childhood that sparked the idea to write a book so writing the book and people don't believe me i wrote this like from front to back you know the font the pictures the cover everything is uh behind my idea uh shout out to my photographer shay she uh, hooked me up with that part but um yeah so everything was 100 percent authentic and the idea behind the book was just to give people a story behind the the grind um and really this book was a futuristic book so this is a memoir so when i published this i was 26 years old so memoirs are normally for people you know a little bit older, yeah right. right right so i tested the waters in doing that and it's been doing great because at the end of the day if you have a story to tell you should tell it um so with the story you know, as long as I could influence one person, I was good. Um, so this book is meant to influence now, but it's really for me to look back 20 years from now and pick this up and look at how far I came. And so you talk about that you were in a really dark place. Talk about that place. And for people that may necessarily be in that place, what advice would you give them? So the place I was in was I felt lonely. I felt like no one had my back. I felt like I couldn't talk to anybody. So with writing this book, it was also my therapy. It was a chance for me to get a lot of things off my chest um, as far as my childhood, my adolescent years, and then what I was going through at the time. So I exposed a lot. You know, I talk about uh, being born in Miami, you know, leaving there, uh, single mom. I talk about everything that encompasses that, you know, it's, and it's not easy, you know, growing up wasn't easy. So, but at the same time, yeah, it's not easy to start, you know, how you start is how you start, but also how you finish and how you deal with things is solely dependent on you. You can't blame that on how you started or whoever wasn't there. So, and again, too, that's, you know, certain gems that's in the book as well, too. So that's the headspace I was in, but the advice I would give is just to keep your head up, to keep your head up. The bad times don't last. You know, and, you know, us as people, we grow uh, with the sunshine, but, but you also need rain, too. You know, bad things have to happen in order for progression to happen, too. So keep your head up. So I guess that prompted you to create your app, Scribble, right? And that launched last month. Tell us who is that app for and, you know, what are some of the benefits of that app? So you don't know, I created an app called Scribble. And essentially behind that was once I was going through the writing process, I understood I didn't know what I was doing. And that's great, right? <laughs> that's good because in the process of you not knowing what you're doing, you learn things, you find out things uh, about yourself and about the process too. So, you know, about, I want to say about three, no, actually about six months ago, uh, I actually put my thoughts and made it tangible. So I started reaching out to companies that could help me, you know, put this idea up. And, you know, we went from there. So essentially the idea behind the app is people don't know the writing process. They don't know, you know, the difference in self-publishing and traditional publishing. Uh, but even to take it a step before that, they don't know where to start. That's what I was gonna say, yeah. They don't know where to start. So the app Scribble is gonna be, the mindset behind it is to have the hub for authors, writers, poets, everybody under that umbrella to have one social network so it's a social networking uh, app as well too okay. to where authors writers poets everybody uh, in that realm can network and connect with each other right so a lot of the times we get you know you get 
certain apps and you know publishing companies that promote the books right you go into you know barnes and noble you see right. books right you know where do these books come from and what are the resources right exactly right so that scribble is designed also to you know take it a step back and let's have that networking process of the authors and writers that create these works to publish these works Mm. And so do you guys have maybe live webinars inside of the apps if people have more questions or how do you take it a step further if after you give the resources, if they want to physically see step by step of, hey, I have this idea. How do I make this idea into a reality? Definitely. So it's still a work in progress. Um, and, you know, with it being launched and with it being live, there's definitely certain things that are on the app and there's definitely certain things that are not on the app okay. but you won't know until you know people actually bring them up you right. know and say hey you know what about this idea so with that being said uh with the app there is a, a, a option called need to know and need to know is you know pages long of essentially you know kind of what we just talked about as far as you know where do we start okay once i start writing then what okay now you want to look at your different options of publishing companies do you want to go the self-publishing route or do you want to go the traditional route uh you know one's you know benefits the other you know one doesn't but it just depends on the person so like a playbook step by step exactly exactly yeah. okay. and then you know everything is relative to the person so when i say i created this app i created this app like you know i look behind me it's just me so in that i have a company that does the coding for me but as far as the app the idea the the features the process all of that came from my mental just you know based off of what i think you know is 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 good for people to know so it's definitely it's definitely a good resource to have and i recommend every author every writer every poet uh everybody that does some some form of writing to download the app scribble it'll definitely uh it definitely kickstart and so tori when you're not writing a book you're acting so tell me a little bit more about how you landed the role in zeus network what was the movie about tell us a little bit more so you know, I, I never consider myself an actor okay. <laughs> when I uh, going through this process. But, you know, how that opportunity came about and shout out to Chris Serino. He was the writer and director. And that movie is about that movie came out uh, during the COVID, you know, when COVID first started, when the pandemic first started. So, you know, he had the idea to create a movie and, um, you know, cast different people. So it's also exactly produced by Manny Pacquiao. So. With that being said, uh, you know, you just never know where your blessing is coming from. So I published this book uh, in December 2020 on my birthday. And, you know, this book kind of, you know, set the table for a lot of different things. And that was one of them. So I ended up landing a role for an audition. And I played a role of Joe. This Joe is a commentator uh, at the end of the, the final boxing match. Tonight. I know, Chuck, hey, COVID has taken over a lot of things in this world, but one thing it hasn't taken over is the sport of boxing. But I ended up auditioning for it, got the opportunity to audition for it, and they hit me back maybe like four or five days later and said, hey, you got the part. I said, oh, man, okay, <laughs> this game on. So with that, uh, and I let you in on a little secret, so game day when it's actually time to shoot i get there and i look good right, right. i look good i got my right i got my suit on i'm commentator ready and i get there and i look good everything's good to go but when they say action i didn't memorize my lines okay. i didn't know my lines so i was exposed because the other it was two of us it was me and another guy commentating he yeah he knew his stuff oh, okay. and he was spitting it and when he spit it it got to me i said Time out. Hold on. Let me <laughs> let me go to the restroom real quick and you know try to make something up. But I pulled out my phone and I had the script on there. I just didn't memorize it because I didn't know I should. As bad as it sounds, I didn't know I should because I assumed maybe it's like that. Right. right, man. You know, I assumed they'll have a projector with the words up, you know, or something. or something maybe, or I just read it like this. Right. And, <laughs> and they just keep editing. The I don't know, right? But I was definitely it was a learning experience, but. Right. I took the time, uh, like five minutes. I looked over at least the first page worth of uh, words, and it was a, it was a handful of words that I had. And uh, once I looked that over, I got back on set, and um, you know whatever came out my mouth came out my mouth. Right. So uh, I definitely improvised. So when you see it and you be like, "Damn, he did good," just know I, I, <laughs> I improvised a lot, a lot of it. But that that opportunity was good. I'm definitely grateful for that. 
Oh, and I mean, Tori, you have accomplished so much thus far. And of course, like you said, you have a long way to go, but it's always good to take a look at those small wins, those big wins. So talk about the importance of staying in position, staying in position until it's your timing, staying in the position until it's your, you know, until you accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. You know, there's no rush on success. And I think social media and, you know, our peers have, you know, a lot of influence on that. Like we in competition with each other, which is good. Like, you know, you should be pushing that next person to achieve the goal. But at the same time, there is no rush to your success. Like your process is going to be your process. So, you know, staying in position, you just got to stay ready, stay hungry for it. And anytime you get an opportunity to do something, hop on it, do it. Um, just like with the, the boss up conference, like that's, you know, that's an opportunity, but that's also an investment. That's an investment that I'm that I'm making, that I'm taking in myself to be there, to be in the realm of other, you know, people that are doing stuff in their avenue. And so what's next for Tori Butler? A lot. So right now I'm writing another book. Okay. Um, and from the first book, the first book was a memoir. This book is actually like jumping into another genre. Yes. I use my personal experiences as well as, you know, what I see around me and people. And I infuse that into my characters. So, you know, when you're reading a book, you know, and it, it the purpose behind that is just to make it relatable to people. Because, right. you know, at the end of the day, we all go through the same stuff. Right. Uh, we just handle it differently. So my overall objectives in my books, though, and with the first one, is to leave you with some, with some type of positive impact. You know, that things might start off a certain way, but that that isn't always the end result. That isn't always the ending, but it's up to you to, you know, navigate that. Right. So, you know, uh, I don't want to give it too much because right. that's that's actually uh, a really good read. And it's such a good read, I think, because I'm writing it and right. reading it at the same time. But it's such a good read that um, also I'm going to turn it into a movie. I'm going to turn that into a movie. So by you? we'll see okay. Okay. more than more than likely. But we'll see. And, you know, that's just me. Actually, that's just me thinking on the fly right now. So I just had another brain blast in my mind right now. But uh, we'll see what. We'll see what happens. We'll see what resources I have or, you know, we'll see kind of like the, the space I'm in as far as uh, being able to have, you know, people that direct and produce, you know, around me. But right. inevitably, like, I'm going to make that happen. So uh, be on the lookout for that as well, too. And so let the people know where they can find you at on social media. Uh, on social media, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you can find me at Butler the Don, and then uh, on Facebook, you can find me at Butler the Don, or I have a Facebook page, uh, Tori C. Butler. You can find me there. Uh, also with Scribble, Scribble's on all platforms, so Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at the Scribble app. Uh, you can find that as well, too, so uh, it's definitely a, a, definitely a blessing. I wish you much success in the future. Make sure you guys follow him on all social media platforms, and check out Abriel B. TV, and we'll see you guys later.